Hi, boys and girls. Well, we're going to read a book about another interesting insect, and one that we often hear at night. We can also see them hopping around in the day in the grass, often out on our playground. If you look hard enough, can you think what I'm talking about? It's the cricket, chirping crickets, and these guys. They are often prey for a lot of different animals, so they are quite an important member of the food chain and the whole food web. Well, let's find out some information about ch chirping cr crickets. Chirping crickets, and it's written by Melvin Berger, and it's illustrated by Megan Lloyd. And we can see those very interesting crickets. Let's take a look inside. Ooh, here's a front view of a cricket, and here's our hopping athlete. It's late in the summer. The day is nearly over. The sun hangs low in the sky. Listen, the crickets are loudly chirping. So we know in the evening is when we're going to start hearing those crickets chirping away. You can hear crickets chirping almost everywhere in parks and woods and fields and on lawns, along country roads, and even inside your house. It is the male crickets you hear. They usually stay in one spot and call the females to them. Most of the females cannot make sounds. Wow! So the girls, the females, are very quiet, and the males are the ones who are very loudly chirping to say, "Come on over! Come on over! Be my friend!" A male cricket does not chirp with his voice. He makes a chirping sound with his front wings. Each wing has a sharp edge called a scraper. The wing also has a long, bumpy vein called a file. The cricket lifts up its front wings and rubs the scraper of one wing against the file of the other wing. Chirp! Back and forth, he rubs his two front wings. Chirp, 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 chirp. Would you like to chirp like a cricket? Get a piece of stiff paper and a nail file. Rub the file against the edge of the paper. The sound is almost the same as a cricket's chirp. Whoa! So if you can find a nail file and a piece of paper, rub it along the edge.、It、has to be a stiff piece of paper. Give it a try, scientists. See what you can hear with your listening senses. The ears of a cricket. Are not where you would expect them. They are under the knees of the cricket's front legs. Each ear is a tiny hole with a tight tissue thin cover. Crickets hear chirping sounds through these tiny holes, right here, right in there. That's where its ear is. Wow! What an interesting place to keep your ear behind your knee. This is what happens: the chirps make the air move or vibrate. We learned about that when we were learning about the senses, and we saw the rice bouncing across the thin membrane that we created, so that we saw how sound waves travel through the air with vibration, and then cause the eardrum in your ear to vibrate, hearing sound. The sound waves spread out to all sides. When they bump into the cricket's ears, the cricket hears the sound, just like us. Vibration is amazing, creating those sound waves. A female cricket hears the male's chirps. She jumps towards the sound. Closer and closer she gets. Soon she is alongside the chirping male cricket, and they mate. Inside the female. Tiny eggs start to grow. 
When the eggs are ready, she uses a long pointed tube at her back end to make tiny holes in the ground. Then she lays her eggs inside the holes. The eggs look like teeny tiny bananas. Cool. In spring, the eggs hatch into nymphs. A nymph is a lighter in color than the adult cricket, and it doesn't have any wings. We know lots of insects that emerge from their eggs as a nymph. The ladybug, the dragonfly, they all emerge as nymphs before they molt and become their adult selves. Soon the nymph gets too big for its hard outer covering. That's its exoskeleton. It wriggles out of its old skin and grows a new outside cover. This is called molting. The nymphs molt again and again. Some nymphs molt as many as 12 times, depending on the amount of food available and the weather conditions. After the last molt, they are adult crickets. So they molt again and again until they get to their adult size. Most adult crickets have two pairs of wings, front wings and back wings. Usually the wings lie flat over each other. The back wings are bigger than the front ones. Some crickets use these for flying. The front wings in males are used to chirp. And here it shows us the front wings and the back wings. Like all insects, crickets have three pairs of legs. The two front pairs are small, but the back legs are big and strong. The cricket uses them when it jumps or flies away. Some crickets can leap as far as two feet. That's about as far as you can hop. Wow, so that is its superpower. It can leap really long distances for its size. Crickets have two big eyes. Each eye is made up of many tiny eyes. That's called a compound eye. They let the cricket see in many different directions at the same time. But a cricket's vision still isn't very good. In fact, crickets rely more on their ears to protect them from danger. Few enemies can sneak up on a cricket. You know that if you've ever tried to catch one. The cricket's mouth is at the front of its head. It has no teeth, but its strong jaws are able to cut up the leaves and small insects that it eats. So there we've got its two big compound eyes. And over here, we can see its mouth parts. Wow, lots of busy parts to its mouth for chewing up those leaves and grass and little insects. Two long, thin feelers on the head also help the cricket. The feelers are called antennae. Some antennae are longer than the cricket's whole body. Antennae help crickets find food and alert them to danger. Danger, danger! Whoop, whoop! Thousands of different kinds of crickets live around the world. Field crickets are the most common. They are about one inch long and a dark brown or black in color. Field crickets mostly live in tiny tunnels in the ground. Male crickets sit in their tunnel entrances all day and chirp loudly at night. At the same time, they are watching out for danger. If an enemy shows up, the male field cricket gives a high piping chirp into the tunnel. He pops. You can find ground crickets in the United States and Europe. They are brown or black like field crickets, but they are only about half the size. Ground crickets settle in damp places such as grassy riverbanks. Their song sounds like a tinkling of bells. Many ground crickets hide during the daylight hours. 
but at night they are actively eating, fighting, and mating. So they're very busy and active at night and just rest during the day. Tree crickets are the same size as field crickets, but they are pale green or white in color. Their very long antennae reach back to the tips of their rear legs. Male tree crickets do not usually chirp alone. Instead, they chirp in groups. A typical chorus of tree crickets may have hundreds of males. Their high-pitched song sounds like tree, 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 tree. Tree crickets hide in trees, bushes, and tall grass. Here they find the smaller insects they like to eat. House crickets are best known in Europe. They would rather live indoors, especially in warm places. Their favorite spots are near a stove, a fireplace, or heater. These light brown or yellow crickets endlessly repeat their high trilling sound. Many people believe that house crickets bring good luck. Having a cricket in your house, they say, means that nice things will happen to you. Wow, so hopefully I will have a house cricket in my house. That would be really good luck. But also annoying if they treat too much while I'm trying to watch TV or read a book. The sky is very dark now. The loud chirpings of the crickets fill the air. It is nighttime. It is the sound of summer. And then here is some information about crickets and how you might try and capture a cricket to keep it as a pet. Yes, there are some people who keep crickets as pets because remember they thought they were very lucky. Wait one moment. All right, boys and girls, I know some of you probably have not heard a cricket. So let's hear what a cricket sounds like. There he is, rubbing those wings together. So now you know what a cricket sounds like. Okay team, scroll on down and find out what's your chirpy assignment for today. <laughs>